Hey loves, Gwen here today with a collective message. Uh, today's the 17th. Um, if you ce let's celebrate St. Patrick's Day, um, enjoy your evening, enjoy your day. Uh, for me, I am I, I do have some Irish blood in me, so it's always been a celebration um, in, in with my blood family. Um, and, but today, like, I, I don't have a lot of connection with my blood family, um, but I'm making new family, like my soul tribe, right? And so I really think the message is today is that to, to honor your ancestors in whatever tradition um, that you so choose, give some things back, and also to celebrate you, okay? Because that's what... Like when I used to get together with my family, it wasn't just about drinking the green beer. It was about celebrating that tribe, celebrating the togetherness, laugh, laughter, dance, joy. Okay. And so I feel like, I, I, you know, I just needed to say that today. Uh, we're very much programmed in a lot of ways about certain holidays, but I do feel like this is the one for me that I give a lot of thanks back to my ancestors for continuing to be with me and celebrating me as I celebrate them and our connection that is everlasting. Okay, so I love you guys. Thanks for joining me today. And um, remember, this is general message. So if you want your own reading, just reach out to me. I'm running a sale on my readings. And um, I have a dog a friend with me today. <laughs> Meadow's in here with me today, so you may see her. Um, I'm just flowing with the moment, you know? <laughs> And uh, dog energy is great for the collective, you know. It's about that unconditional love of yourself. You want out, girl? Okay, let me open the door. See, like this is all purposeful. Let me open the door. Let me open the door to the blessings of unconditional love in my life. Okay? There you go, Mimi. Beautiful. Thank you for your perfect timing. You know, I was talking to a friend today, too, about um, synchronicity. Like... A lot of us get so focused on looking for that synchronicity because <laughs> we don't want to miss it, right? We don't want to miss it. Uh, just to feel that divine connection with our ancestors and uh, spirit, you know, the ascended masters and angels. But it's more powerful, more empowering to actually say that I am divine synchronicity. Like, not looking for it. I am what creates the synchronicity, right? And so I am the divine synchronicity. Um, I am the miracle. I am the blessing. Um, it, it's it's beautiful message today. I, I want to say so much. So spirit be with me so that I can deliver these messages that you want them to hear, not what I need, my what my ego needs to say. I love you all. So... Welcome to the new subscribers. I noticed the channel was growing. I love you guys. Thanks for the support. I posted a little short video yesterday with another beloved dog here where I'm staying and like mass views on that. And I was like, yes. And it was less than about just flowing with what's going on. You know, like an old part of myself went say, tit, tit, tit. everything's so perfect. And you know, it's got, oh, now I got to start over because there was this interruption or whatever. No, every interruption, distraction, whatever it might be, purposeful. Flow with the change, darlings. Okay. Um, and love makes all the difference. Okay. So let's talk about, what do I want to start first? Let's start with your affirmation today. Attaining peace. Today I turn within to find the source of my experiences. There I find the peace that comes from seeking truth. I understand that the riches I discover within myself have a greater value than all the wealth of the outside of world. Step by step I continue my spiritual quest. Little by little I free myself, rising even higher and attaining true inner peace. You can see these beautiful windows here and the sun shining through these beautiful golden windows of opportunity. You're poised, you're ready there on your horse. Horse symbolism continues showing up for the collective. <sighs> Freedom. Freedom is the horse, okay? Um, and also, you know, that man's connection with the horse, right? Mm-hmm. 
Anything else I need to say about that? No. The waves of water here, like there's this crossing. You're at a crossroads as well in your life. Um, I'm, I'm seeing some number frequencies here that are similar. 1331. It's like a mirror energy I'm seeing here. Maybe somebody in your life that's helping you to let go here. Groundhog energy. This little groundhog is like holding on right to this little heart time to let go hmm so we got it we're talking about shadow work with this little dude we're in pisces season we're coming into airy season which is powerful time of creation with two new moons and the equ spring equinox mm. two new moons in aries darlings back to back it's some powerful shit just let, just take it from this <laughs> teacher right now <laughs> just know it claim that shit okay time to let go endings lead the beginnings and death is a part of life so groundhog spirit is here to let you know that it is time to accept the natural ending of something that is no longer serving you we love to hold on to what is familiar but the new needs space to arrive so growth can occur okay the new needs space to arrive so that the growth can occur it's very important. You know, when we talk about the like cleansing and cleaning out clutter and space, it, it literally, physically, it's about, you know, taking care of our home and that kind of thing too. But our home is our temple, our body, our physical body and our mind, you know, so like clearing out the clutter of the mind, taking good care of what we put into our body. Okay. Um, releasing relationships, friendships, energies that are no longer resonating with your heart so that you make this room for new energies to flow into your life because you're at a new vibration now, okay? Um, when Groundhog Spirit appears, it is a sign that something in your present situation that you that you need to let go of so that something new can be born, something that will far better serve you now. When the groundhog sees a shadow, he retreats to his den. So too might you yearn for a little more time to say goodbye and transition into the new. However, change is coming and it is good, so let go of your resistance. Spring brings many blessings and what must die will always be reborn in a new form that will be right for you. Life requires change and detachment. Say farewell to whatever once served you and get ready for something amazing to take its place. Spirit is already sending it on its way. And the miracles and blessings are all around you. Look at you created them. You are a fucking miracle. Love magically appears. Yeah, where there was no progress. The progress card in the reverse. You are seeing that you are the light <laughs> and that Everything is connected, unity, and it starts with self-love, my love. Okay. I like doing that with the underlying energy. <laughs> okay, what else does Groundhog have to say? Um, have you been, this is a protection message. They want me to read you this whole thing. So I'm not doing tarot today, just oracle messages for you. Um, needing to give somebody a pep talk out there, right? Like, this is a powerful reading about a lot of, in the spring, a lot of blessings being bestowed upon you because you created this inner peace. You let go of whatever was hmm, causing stagnancy, causing hurt, right? There's forgiveness that's happened. Yeah. Um, have you been rest relentless in your efforts to revive something that has passed its prime and needs to die away? A situation, a relationship, a belief, or a habit that served you once but no longer fills you with vitality. Perhaps you automatically expect to see the world through a specific lens based on the familiar. Groundhog spirit has appeared to let you know it's time to accept that the past is the past. So allow yourself to feel the loss and grieve it if you need to. Any sadness will not last forever or overwhelm you. Knowing spirit is with you and wants you to experience joy and excitement again will help you through this transition from the old to the new. Keep your eyes open for winter always gives way to spring and endings always give birth to beginnings. For now, let yourself feel your emotions, releasing them to make your way for the joy that awaits you. 
Spring and new growth are on their way, for that is the Spirit's promise to you. Sing your song, the Yule Singer. This is the fairy, this is the wren bird right here, okay? And her crown um, is covered with holly, okay? Both Celtic symbols here about um, everlasting love. You know, it's an evergreen, the holly tree. Um, red is about the passion, your passion again. Um, it's time to, yeah, sing your own song. This is a beautiful part of your, your rebirth, okay? And enjoy and festivities here with, it just feels so holiday-like here. The image, feasting and joy, okay? Card 36. That's a nine, nine frequencies, tying up loose ends, coming to the end of a cycle, okay? Um, and then we'll, I want to go over a little bit about this miracles and blessings today as well. All this blue energy is talking about a throat chakra healing for the collective, okay? Um, but also, look at this crown. It's depicting the hair here, but the hair... Is just an extension of our energy as well. So I feel like there's powerful transformations happening within your mindset as well. Because you're healing some part of your, I mean, there's their blue colors, right? Dark blue. So healing to the emotional body. Recognizing the miracle that you are is important. Everything has its gift. Including those struggles, including the relationships, including the loss. <sighs> Let's go over this one. You drew this card because there are many miracles happening in your life right now. The angels are asking you to look out, look how things are. Look again. You will find that your life is filled with miracles and blessings. Reflect on who you are and your journey to this point. Recognize and accept the blessings that have occurred in your life. Situations that were not ideal brought their own gifts and lessons. Your existence begins with the spark of a miracle. Continual blessings and miracles continue to show up in the smallest of ways. Be willing to receive these gifts and see the arms open here to receiving as well. So if there are any blocks in regards to that, gone. Okay. Um, an ethereal goddess with flowing hair reaches to catch a leaf from the various leaves floating near her grasp. Hair can represent thoughts or reasoning. Check in with your self-talk beliefs. Are you open to a miracle? Be ready for the unexpected. And I have to say from the animal deck because this badger is staring at me. Um, be fearless and bold, darling. And this is absolutely Aries vibe, Aries energy season coming soon for holy crap <laughs> yes. see i am the divine synchronicity i am that friend i am that sister i am that woman that is going to point out these number synchronicities because it's your angels talking to you four 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 bam four 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 <laughs> I can math today. <laughs> Trust the great mystery. Whales are with you. Of course they are. They, they're the ancient geek gatekeepers. <laughs> it's about mass amount of abundant creativity too with that whale. And awe and be prepared for new massive blessings, miracles, a miracle. Do you believe in miracles? Guess what? Love makes the difference. It's right here. Look at this fairy. She's on this boat, and she's got this megaphone, and the boat is on. Look at these tumultuous seas. Like, holy crap. And she's just, the butterflies are coming out of this marigold, at blue marigold, the blue marigold, right? Like, your words are transforming a situation. This is card 31 too. Holy crap. I can't make this shit up, y'all. That's card 31. That's card 31. Oh my gosh. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Sing it into existence. The Yule Singer is here. 
I'm surprised I'm not singing to you. A song isn't coming into my head right now, though. So, yay. <laughs> Maybe I'll sing later tonight. Okay. And also on the fairy deck, the underlying energy is the dreamer, which is definitely the the energy of a the Pisces season. season. But they're also telling you, eyes closed here. It's time to connect through meditation. You may even be having a lot of very vivid dreams. Your dreams are speaking to you. Um, your past self, your higher self, your future self is guiding you here. Visions, trance, and apparitions. Yep. Dream a little dream of me. Do, 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 do. There it is. I asked for one. See? Ask you shall receive. There it was. <laughs> You're dreaming the new world into being. You're no longer going to even. Like the, the trickster energy is in the reverse. You're no longer lying to yourself. You're no longer dealing with energies that feel this way. Who People who have betrayed you, who were deceitful, you're letting that go. There's forgiveness here. This was a big part of an initiation, I'll say that, from the Fae here. Card 14. I mean, they just keep giving me fours. What the shit? being curious, open, and warm. Look at that. And that squirrel there above the shoulder is like, are you getting ready to take a leap of faith, aren't you? All these green borders talks about, well, green today, obviously. That's another inside joke from my ancestors. But um, green is speaking to a heart healing for the collective. Blue and green energy. I love it. I love it. I love it today. So if you enjoyed this reading, drop me some love down below. Thanks for those good karma donations. And remember, if you comment below, you also get entered into a chance to win a free reading for me each month. So I love you. Thanks for your support. I'll see you soon.